Dragon is over here clocks. Breath of Fire 3 hanging out for a good week or so. Oh my gosh. Uh good week. There's something a lot of you know, work went on here. A lot of work went on. Not in Breath of Fire 3 yet. I I will grind up levels, don't worry. But um with me hanging out definitely dealing with a bit of a sniffle. Get that out of the way. Dealing with a bit of a sniffle. I get to my cat's one more way. And, uh, yeah, we are uh, Nina and Ryu just hanging out. We already went to the hotel, so we're good. And, yeah. Yeah, so I believe what, yeah, yeah, all that I saved. Okay, I went up there. I believe I went up there and saved because I had to go up there and save. Mm. So, yeah, an interesting three day, days of work. Uh, first day. I worked a full shift for all 12 hours. Then the next day I worked for about uh, four hours. And they said I go, well, they need people to go home, so I went home. Then uh, the last day I worked, I was starting to work for a while. And it was very interesting because today, uh, this, that day was a very interesting day because it was like, okay, uh, we have too many people in this one station. And I was thinking, okay, we're gonna, we might have to go home early. But then it's like, hey, there's the people. They need other people at, at, toward the uh, the uh, shipping and receiving dock. <laughs> you know, and I, I haven't been there in a while. <laughs> I've been there once, and I, I kind of liked it a lot. A lot, a bit more than packing, because it was more about lifting. You know, heavy lifting. That I'm used to that stuff. But yeah, I'm more used to that stuff. I think I'm, I'm better for the using doing that stuff. But anyway, so I was like, okay, cool, I'll do it, I'll do it. You know, so and some other two other people volunteered. So then uh, we went downstairs. Uh, we uh, we'll usually work upstairs, and so we went downstairs to the shipping and receiving dock. It was like the the shipping dock. You know, you guys are just gonna hang out and have some fun time while I, I talk about this. The shipping dock. Went to the shipping dock and just hung out and um, mostly swept. That was and swept for a while, but then after sleeping for a while. We, uh, you know, they had us do different things. They sent, I think, two, um, the manager there sent two people to go and scrape uh, tape off the um, concrete um, in one area where there's this giant robot arm. I call it Mike Dyson. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, if you, you knock you out in one hit. So you gotta watch out for that thing. And, uh, uh, they had me start scra use, scraping, using a scraper and some spray to, um, 3M spray to, uh, start, um, Getting little areas you know, on around the docks, you know, around the where the shipping and receiving docks were, to basically there was like pieces of tape that were uh, just you know super old and not uh, really you know it was like like they replaced those already and they just need to get rid of the old ones you know so they had me doing that so I did that basically all night and the thing is uh, one square took like an hour to scrape off <laughs> so I was like oh my gosh okay this this could be do it this could do it and it did you know. I did a few squares, definitely, uh, and then uh, helped out at uh, with the, with, the, with the, the robot arm, and then uh, hung out a bit more, you know, and did more. Did another line, a line that took that I basically, uh, I think, it was like four hours left of the shift. Uh, did well, no, three hours, three hours left of the shift. Did uh, an hour, did had a break, a thirty-minute break. Then did uh, the other two hours, two hours, so you know, half hours or whatever. Uh, and just scraped as best I could while avoiding people trying to basically move full, uh, you know, basically cages and things full of boxes into trucks, <laughs> you know, and stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah, that was um, a very interesting contemplative of day, and afterward, I could not move my right arm. <laughs> so, yeah, that was uh, very interesting. Let's continue on. We got, nobody's coming to take my order. Mm, nobody's going to take my order. Guess they figure they don't have to. Wait on a country bunkin' like me. Hmm. No, no, they're, they're right there. They're right, <laughs> they're right, they're right over there. Hey, guys, guys, can, can you help? <laughs> Wait a minute, we're busy. Oh my God, okay, cool. Mm. See, they come in. Judge, get. Looking for someone? Hmm, a lot of people come to the cafe, you know, so. Yeah, this is a cafe. It's really cute. It's a very small little cafe there. It's like, you know, you're one of those coffee, you one of those, one of those coffee bars, you know? Mm. One of those coffee places downtown. <laughs> you know, you go over there, you see those people out in the open. Yeah, you can't do it as much, though. They don't do it pretty social distance. <laughs> they do. Actually, yeah. There's so many problems to hear these days. Winnie just doesn't feel safe anymore. Yeah, you gotta watch out for that. Make sure to uh, learn the right proper, you know, get the proper protection, all right? Get the right training, what you need. 
I tell you, there's just too many people coming up here from the country. It's getting to be a big problem. Yeah, I don't know about that. Because you're, you're the big city. <laughs> we like the big city. <laughs> hey, I'm not goofing off, okay? I'm patrolling this here sandwich, see? <laughs> so much fun. Hey, come back here. Come back here, Nurse Joy. Come on. You don't usually eat, get that many kids in the cafe. There's a lot of kids playing downstairs, though. Oh, yeah. That's a mini game. Hey, we'll see it a little bit. Boy, am I tired. She says. You don't get any days off here, except when it rains. I'm like, oh boy. Well, guaranteed cash. <laughs> That's one thing. Oh. This dude, looking for someone? Tipo Ray? Never heard of him. All right, yeah. So we got, yeah. They basically, uh, our um, well, camera is going to come in handy eventually when we start. You know, when we do this, we hang out with these kids. This is mini game. Okay, let me use it now. This way, this way, the other way. Nope, nothing there. All right, let's go into each place. We have weapons and things in there. Anything here? You found ammonia. It's okay for me to take this stuff. Like, sure, fine. Oh, no, no, this guy has a sling, an arm in a sling. Uh, yeah, something. Well, no, no, get over here. Get over here. Ouch! 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 Got beat up by a robber the other day. I did. I taught him a thing or two before he got away. That robber sounded like some little good for nothing kid from the country. Mm hmm. So probably was Depot. Mm hmm. Nothing here. Let me put a uh, event tile in there. Mm -mm -mm. Now the RPG, ma I, I like playing RPG Maker, and RPG Maker shows you how the RPGs basically work. Mm -hmm. you know? So one of the things they do is they will uh, put event tiles. Your character and other characters you can talk to have, have event tiles underneath them, mm -hmm. so you can talk to them. Yeah, Jazz, yes, come in. This guy has an event tile, or the the bench, mm -hmm. or the the uh, table most likely most likely has an event tile underneath it, so you can touch it. You can actually interact, examine it, you know, and then basically like, oh yeah, talk to it, and basically they'll be like, oh yeah, here's what you do: activate uh, the uh, heads up display of the store, you know, buy and sell, show off the different items. You know, you have how many of you have? You have uh, 56 of them. Okay. Vitamin F7. Uh, I'll get a few more. We go. Antidote, you have 10 of them, we're good. Eye drops, you don't have any eye drops? Mm, get the eye drops, get the eye drops. I'll take 10 of those. Mm. Oh crap, yeah. I'll take five, no, 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 I'll take a bit. Mm. I'll take a bit, mm. get eye drops. Uh, these are all the same lures, no, we're good. Thank you. So, yeah, you gotta watch out for all that. But you can do all kinds of different things. And there's a dog, yeah, he's an event tile. Bow wow, you yeah. B O U P A. Oh, um, let's see. Wait. Oh, uh, yeah. This thing. Mm, okay, no. Down here. I thought maybe I could find work or something in a big city like this, but you're being jerks too. Mm, you know. Usually there's nothing in there. And I put an event tile inside these things. You can examine it. Found healing herb. Thank you. He's like, yeah, that's a free one. You can have that. <laughs> so what are you looking for? What can I do it for? Oh, so now you can get better uh, uh, weaponry once you level up enough. Cause yeah, we want the claymore. No, we don't. We do not want the claymore. <laughs> the claymore would give us more power. And the mace would give us more power. Uh, no, we don't have the uh, money to get it yet. I'll be back. Cause she's selling the weapons, so we gotta go um, grind up weapons, grind up levels. You know, you gotta get money for weapons. Uh, We'll do that after we finish our party well, or something. Keyword controls. Lots of people coming here. It's really easy for the get the supplies, eh? Okay, so this is the guy with armor. His armor, a little apron. Ranger garb would definitely increase. Yeah, I got a little tiny uh, novelty ranger garb for a five-year-old. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Curass, a little tiny novelty curass. Yeah, uh, made his robes, though. Definitely would help. Definitely, definitely. So, I'll see you guys next time. Check me out on YouTube, TV, and art. We're going to continue working on this. Oh, this is cool.